Hello, I'm Mick Jennings and I'm here today at the Danfoss Drys Clinic just looking at a few features and functions of the new FC range of products. Here in front of you you can see a graphical keypad which is a, an LCP-102 and the LCP-102 um, is a keypad that you can use throughout the whole family of FC range of products. In other words, you can use it on a VLT HVAC drive, um, a VLT Aqua drive and the automation products as well. This particular clip I'm going to be showing you the self-tune or the AMA, as uh, Dan Foss like to call it, the automatic motor adaption. Really, it's just a series of, um, of tests that we can do uh, on the motor and drive package, and it will work out um, resistances and reactances of the motor. It will check out the cable into the motor, um, and it'll also check you know all your phases are there and that kind of thing too so it's a useful thing to do now it's not necessary um, if you take the drive out of the box it should work uh, basically with a with a motor straight away but it gives you much better performance if you do do it um, so it's probably well worth doing um, and I'm going to just show you how to do it today now I know that the parameter that we're looking for is in it's in group 1 and the parameter is 129 automatic motor adaption so I'm going to just hit the main menu when you hit the main menu, look, it takes you back to where you were last time you were looking at, uh, at in the main menu. So I'm going to take you back to the start where you would like to. So you press the main menu twice, and then you go back to the start where it starts with 0, 1, 2, 3. And it shows you the logical groups that Danfoss like to use. Nice concept, this, because it means that you can find parameters that you don't know where they are because of, because of what they are. Um, for instance, uh, anything to do with a load and motor would be in group 1. So your currents and that kind of thing, your torque, like, um, characteristics and all that kind of stuff is all in group one. So it's easy to find. Makes it nice and easy. Okay, so we want uh, 1-29. So I want to drop into group one and say OK. And now I'm in the group one, but now I need to look at the, for the 120s. So that's motor data look, 1-2 star. So I'll go down to 1-2 star. Now it's 1-29 that I want, so instead of going down, through the 20s, 120s, I can just go up and I'm in 129. At the moment, this particular parameter is turned off. So if I say OK, you'll see that the cursor drops in under the parameter and now I can scroll around to the choices in that parameter and I'm going to choose Enable a Complete AMA. Now if I just press that again, you'll quickly see um, Enable Reduced AMA. I'll talk to you about that a little bit later on. Anyway, Enable Complete AMA, I'll say OK. Now, before you do this, you must have set the drive up using the quick menu and there is another clip to show you how to use the quick menu and set your drive up to the basic settings. Um, so you need to put the motor na nameplate data into the drive. The other thing just to quickly mention is it wouldn't always say ready there. If you have got one of your terminals um, set up so that it is a coast inverse, then you'll see this because you've got your coast off. And all that really means is that Terminal 27, in this particular situation, um, we've set the Terminal 27 to be the coast inverse. And so there must be 24 volts on it before you can get a start. If you haven't got uh, 24 volts on it, then it inhibits the start and it will say coast along there. So we've put coast back to where it was now and it says ready to run. So I'm going to press hand on just like it asks me. Press hand on to start AMA. So I'm going to press hand on. And away we go. Now we're in step two, step three. There are 16 steps in all. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about what's happening while this is going on. Um, first of all, obviously when you take the drive out of the box and you set the drive up so that it's, um, you put the motor nameplate details into the drive, then it goes away as a looks at, um, just a lookup chart really, uh, to look at typical values for that, for that motor uh, that you've described in the, in the setup. Now that's all very well and the drive will work fine, um, but if you do these, these tests it means that the, um, the actual resistances and things are actually calculated and you get much better performance. Now it's, um, it's done two ways, first of all there's a resistive test and basically they just use Ohm's law, uh, they'll, they'll in inject a DC voltage and look at the current and just using Ohm's law they'll, they'll say that you know, v, over, v over I is resistance and they can work out the stator resistance but there is also and you'll look you'll hear them starting up in a minute frequency sweeps which are basically it's a clever algorithm um, to measure reactance and gives you 
impedance and reactance as opposed to just resistive so it gives you much better performance that's why the complete AMA is so much better than the reduced AMA having said that the reduced AMA it's okay and it's better than not doing one at all um, and the and that one really is just um, a resistive test so it just sets the drive up um, the current loops up uh, using a resistive test only okay we're on group uh, we're on step 12 now so we've got a little bit more to go I'm going to tell you a few other things as well this test is a static test in other words a lot of our competitors will do a, uh, an automatic mode reduction of sorts uh, the only thing is is that um, it was they'll expect to run the motor up to full load um, sorry run up to full speed um, with, with, with no load in other words you start to knock couplings off and things like this or knocking belts off so you can run the tests uh, this is a true static test and doesn't move the shaft at all. Anyway, we've uh, it looks as though we've uh, completed the AMA, AMA. It's OK. It says everything's OK to finish. So I'm going to press OK just like it asks me to. And we're back to square one again. Thanks for watching.